Carl Holcomb has been around airplanes all his life. His dad started Holcomb Aerial Service when Carl was three years old. I can remember the first time that I climbed into one that he gave me a ride in one coming from one place back to home. And then, you know, as a four-year-old kid, one of the highlights of eating, I'd want to hang around here all day till dark. And when dad would park the airplane in the hangar, he'd sit me up in his lap, you know, let me hold the stick and maybe think I'm flying and drive on up into the hangar. And he's been hooked ever since. Aerial application accounts for up to one-fourth of the delivery of crop protection products in American agriculture. Farmers value the use of aircraft because they can cover so much area so quickly without disturbing the soil or the growing crops. Aircraft can glide over the crops at up to 140 miles per hour. This is important because some pests and disease can do serious damage in just a day or two. We can cover so many more acres than somebody can with a ground machine or another way of applying something. Uh, we don't do any soil compaction. We don't disturb anything when we go across. Normally we're more fuel efficient. Usually we can cover more acres per gallon of fuel that's burned. Uh, it makes it a little more efficient. So we're not affecting the environment, say, as much as we would if by running ground machines or some other type of, of way to, you know, to apply something. Those are usually the time interval is always seems like the biggest, you know, the biggest benefit. Because usually we, we want to try to get out there and get it done as quickly as we can and thus saving the, uh, the amount of damage that any kind of pest or anything else will be affecting the crop. Some 3,200 professional operators and pilots operate in the United States. Most of them have thousands of hours of experience. They must meet federal and state requirements both for flying skills and for the safe handling of chemicals. Some of the states are on what they would call a point system, or some of them just do it to where you only have to attend recertification or a recurrent training program once every three years, or total up a certain number of points each year, just like you would CEUs on, in, other, in other types of business, same type of thing. The state of Mississippi is different in the fact that we require recertification or retraining every year. Technology has helped the industry be much more accurate and efficient in the delivery of crop protection products. Everybody now, we've gone over to GPS technology and using the differential uh, error, the, the differential sources that we used to take out the air, we're flying stuff now to where we have, we have we're below three meters in our accuracy, in our applications. We have uh, instrumentation on the aircraft that will guide us down each pass that we have. And when it says, you know, that we're right on the mark, we know we're no more than three meters off the mark. And everything is logged onto the aircraft. Our state, state of Mississippi requires everything, every application other than fertilizer, everything that we do, every type of pesticide that we put out, requires that we log all this information. So every trip that I make, every trip I make across the field or to and from a field, all this goes on to, a, to something that I can download off the aircraft, I can pull it back up on the computer. So should the need arise via whatever it is, you know, I've got access to that information. The benefit for us is it's made every pass that we make now efficient. Every time we turn around and go, we know we're right on track, we're right on the mark. We're like, like you said, we're not overlapping anything. We're 100 percent efficient on every pass that we make. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's sped our process up. Carl is the past president of the Mississippi Agricultural Aviation Association, an organization formed to organize and help ag pilots. We needed a way to come together, to bring ourselves together, to talk about our industry, to discuss any changes maybe that we need to do on a group and a large level, and to have a speaking voice, you know, at any time things may come up or a need would arise, and that way we would be somewhat unified. This is a highly regulated industry. The public should be aware that the products that are being applied to the crops are not harmful to humans. Just about everything that we put out now with the volumes and the quantity, not the quantity, but the concentrations that we put out are safe. It's not something that's gonna go out there that when you breathe it, you know, you're gonna fall over and, and, and have a fit of some sort. I mean, it's, it's safe, everything that, you know, it's gone through so much regulatory process. When the EPA turns something finally loose and says, okay, it's good to go. All the instructions, all the regulation, all the rules that we follow are on that label of that product. We're trying to take care of a pest that's no bigger than an ant. Well, what kind of concentration do you think of some type of product would it take to handle this? 99% of the stuff that we put out is safer than a lot of chemicals, a lot of things that you have in your household that's under the sink. The biggest challenge facing Carl and other ag pilots is being able to get to all of the people that need him in a timely manner. 
and the way the crops have been altered to where their growing seasons are now shorter. You're looking at less days in that growing season. So there again, you've got another thing pressing it down into these ever growing smaller windows of time that things happen. The, the challenge for us is being able to meet those windows and do our timely application and be able you know, to, to afford to do it in that timely manner and to still be beneficial to the grower. You know, to still go out there and do our job and be cost effective for him and get that job done, but in those ever smaller periods of time. Ag aviation is a highly visible industry, but the next time you see an ag plane in operation, remember this, you're watching a highly trained professional committed to supplying safe, economically priced food for you and your family.